Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag, TR Tony here, uh, out and about on my travels this week. So a pretty short one, however, very interesting one because I've seen a number of stories being banded about on social media this week of interest to us all, classic car owners and potentially new car owners as well. Mysteries about to be revealed. Um, let's go over and I'll explain more right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. It's the Triumph TR25 concept car from Triumph. Uh, it's been designed by uh, a well-known UK-based, London-based auto designer called Makina, who have just celebrated their 25th anniversary. And in conjunction with BMW, who ultimately own the Triumph brand, have come up with this electric vehicle concept car, uh, essentially based on the TR2 of the 1950s, uh, in particular the Yabeka design now this innovation creation really does pay homage to the iconic british automakers illustrious heritage while showcasing cutting edge technology at the same time uh, with some interesting design elements and with a captivating blend of nostalgia and modernity the tr25 concept car i think captures the hearts of automotive enthusiasts and triumph loyalists alike um, at first glance the tr25 concept car exhibits an unmistakable reverence for Triumph's classic roadsters of the past. The silhouette kind of harks back to the legendary TR2 and maybe the TR3 models from the 1950s. It features a long hood uh, or bonnet, uh, pronounced kind of um, wheel arches or fenders, and has a sleek, low-slung profile, very reminiscent of the 1950s Triumphs. Its aerodynamic curves pay tribute to the timeless design language that defined Triumph's most celebrated vehicles back in the day. And moving beyond the look and feel of the car, the TR25 embraces contemporary technologies that align perfectly with the demands of the present and the future. Um, as an all-electric vehicle, the concept car demonstrates Triumph's commitment to sustainability and reduced environmental impact. And beneath that bonnet lies a high-capacity battery pack uh, based on the uh, BMW i3, I believe, uh, which propels the vehicle with an impressive range and electrifying performance embodied the automaker's uh, commitment to a greener motoring future and talking of the future I think you can see the design of the doors and the interior of the car look very racy and uh, very designer uh, very electronic and I'm sure will more will be revealed as this car uh, comes to market fingers crossed it gets signed off as a concept into a actual prototype and then a, a production car who knows what will what, what will happen but in conclusion for me the tr25 it stands as a triumphant marriage between the past and the future we've all been um thinking about ev and how that might affect our classic cars uh, and it's a design that i think reveres the classic roasters of yesteryears uh, and technology that embraces the environmentally conscious demands of the present and i think in some ways has created an automotive masterpiece that hopefully will appeal to old and new fans alike i very much accept uh, it will divide opinion but i think by blending nostalgia and modernity that they've tried to demonstrate its adaptability and dedication uh, to preserving the legacy of Triumph and innovating for the future. Now, should the Triumph TR25 ever make it to production? I think it's poised to be a beacon of inspiration for the automotive industry. It'd be interesting to see what happens and remind all of us that uh, embracing our roots can lead to remarkable innovation. And indeed, following the recent last week's unveiling in London, the Triumph TR25 created by Makina is now on display at the British Motor Museum up in Gaydon, just off the M40, north of Oxford. Um, it's alongside it's the uh, alongside the original inspiration, the record-breaking Yabeka, which we talked about earlier, the Triumph TR2, uh, registration MVC575. Um, and I agree that uh, the modern-day interpretation of it absolutely looks uh, looks stunning. It really does. And indeed, it's going to be on display for the next eight weeks or so at the museum. So I'll put in the link uh, with this video a, uh, a link you can click on to get some tickets and, and go see it. And uh, if we get the chance, I'm sure Ari the Stag would love to be up there to film it. We will see. Watch this space.
Okay, there you go, guys. That's a TR25 concept car from Triumph and Makina. Uh, please leave your comments below. I'd be interested to hear your views. And uh, let's keep track of developments as they happen over coming months. I'm sure it's going to be an exciting time for the brand and for the mark and uh, for the future success of the Triumph brand. Uh, that's it for this week, guys. Have a great week wherever you are, and we'll see you online on Ari the Stag very soon. Cheers for now. Bye.